Welcome to the Division II National Football Championship. From McKinney ISD Stadium in Texas, it is Colorado School of Mines making its first appearance in 131 years of football in the title game against Ferris State, the defending national champion. The freshman Carson Gulker, more the running quarterback later as well, and we'll see a lot of sweeps. He'll give it to Jefferson on the ground often, and a good pickup for C.J. Jefferson to start the game. Run game, take the next step. Ferris State, a major running team. They'll run it for third play here, and a broken tackle for Taylor. Bursting across midfield, into Mines territory, and ridden down all the way at the 35 by Nolan Reeve. He may have to throw it on one of these downs here on second and 14. It's a three-man rush against Mitchell. He will throw it, find an open target, down inside the five. It's Des Libertas. Evan Cummins, who can play quarterback, tight end, running back, is next to him in the backfield. Now motions out. And Gulker will take it straight ahead, drive toward the end zone, and he will score. Carson Gulker with his 29th rushing touchdown. With love you, coach. Here's Mitchell in some big trouble. Got away from the first rusher. Across the field, he hits Brady Rose. Rose across the 25. Slicing it back. Rose going for a wild ride. And he's in the red zone, picking up 30 yards. Eddie Jewett will try from 33. And Jewett drills it. It's a three-point possession. It was a four-point drop, though, by Taylor. The lead is 10 for Ferris State. They've had an amazing turnout here. Here's a backwards pass. Brady Rose throws it, and he hits a wide open. C.J. Jefferson down to the 10. The converted quarterback, Rose, who is a Michigan Mr. Football finalist at quarterback two years ago, Hits Jefferson for 50 on the trick play. A little double pass, throw the bubble screen, and everybody's going to jump up on it. And that other receiver, C.J. Jefferson, comes off slow, acting like he's going to block, and just slips to the back wide open. I love the play call on the down and distance, first and 10, but also the way that Tony Anissa set it up. Mines again. <laughs> Forces a field goal. 22 yards away for Jewett. Ferris State is dominating. They've had a couple of mishandles on the last two drives to keep him out of the end zone, though. Still a two-score game. Going to rush five against five here, and Matoka is absolutely swallowed up. Another Ferris State sack. Not enough and not quick enough on Mitchell. Mitchell hit as he throws again and floats it beautifully. It's the running back, Taylor, who hangs on to it this time. Inside the red zone for the fourth time today. It's a gain of 32. One timeout remaining for Ferris State. Mitchell will keep it on the option. A late pitch inside the 10-yard line. It will be a touchdown, and it is C.J. Jefferson. Absolutely controlled this game from the opening play. Yep, you see there, Minahan loses leverage on the pitch, and... All it takes is to get one step behind the speed of C.J. Jefferson, and he makes you pay. Mines does have three timeouts. Matoko will throw it quickly and complete. No, intercepted off the deflection. It's picked off by McLeod. It's an absolute nightmare for Mines. It's an absolute party. facing a chasm but it's supposed to be just a little bit of pitch and catch on a slant route you can see the ball thrown a little bit low to the mines receiver and that's that's that that's really any rhythm settle in and find any type of, of sustained success offensively on any drive another punt for click another very very low punt for click did that hit a oh. first day player it did it was such a low punt and it's recovered by Ben Fuchs, the reserve linebacker. After, did it hit? Yeah, sorry, that's that's Jaden Healy. 
that pushes the number 44 for, for Mines that pushes the Ferris State player into the football. It have been a house call. Mines will go for it, fourth and ten. Matoka, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Jordan Jones with his second sack. Four diggers in the red zone, first and goal. Matoka out of the flats to Zeman, it's a touchdown. 27-7 is the score here for my late Mitchell's Bulldogs. First play of the quarter is a run play. Marcus Taylor bursting into Mines territory. We didn't know how it would go. It's gone beautifully. Here's Rose on the sweep. Another big play. Brady Rose down to the 21. Mitchell back to Taylor. Couple of sharp cuts. Outside running for Taylor. Inside the five. Lowering the shoulder down to the three. You don't think the over and under was right around 29 for touchdowns for him? That's what he's got right now. He'll look for number 30. Gulker up the gut. Gulker finds Pater. Pass rushing matchup. They're only going to bring three this time. And they're still going to get to him. Matoka sacked. Ian Hall. Jones has two. Hall has two as well. From the 14, Matoka up for grabs and down for Johnston for a Colorado School of Mines touchdown. Minutes could determine that. Mitchell to throw it off his back foot and complete. Down to the five-yard line to Jefferson, who continues a pretty darn big game of his own accord. Dark Horse MVP action. From the six, Gulker just driving forward. Look at the oh, yeah, push. push. A lead push by Gulker. He barrels in for touchdown number three. Here at Mines, and they start off 0-2 and rattle off 13 in a row to get to this game. Matoka's intercepted. Jovan Bayless has the second pick for Ferris State today. Defense for Ferris State, one. One more kneel down, we'll seal it. Let the celebration begin for a second straight year. It is Ferris State's world in Division Two. The Bulldogs from Big Rapids are the national champions.